Mr. Buchstaller, we are here at Interpac uh, 2011 in front of your brand new demonstrator. So what does this showcase show? This demonstrates a packaging machine. This is a complete line of a packaging machine. And what we show here is the GMC, the Generic Motion Control. What does that mean? And GMC means you can have with one and the same application, with one and the same software layer, you can run different type of kinematics and different type of motor technologies. And how is the motor control uh, realized? The motor control is realized by different devices from B and R. We have different type of uh, solutions of uh, Arcobos multi-solution. We have different type of uh, solutions for driving stepper motors. What is the benefit from our solution is you can run with one and the same software layer different type of kinematics like a, a anthropomorphic robot, a, a tripod robot, you can, could also run a delta robot, you could run a SCAR robot, and we can run different type of motor technologies. We can run asynchronous motor, linear motor, brushless motors, stepper motors, and that all with the same and the, one and the same software solution. So what does, does that really mean for the OEM itself? Is it less effort for integration? Is it uh, easier to um, implement the application? For the machine builder, it means he has lost total cost of ownerships. That means he can do on one and the same software, he can decide later what type of mechanical solution he wants to use. And this is a huge step forward in the automation for packaging machines. Because in those days, you always have to consider the best cost solution. And in sometimes, you need a brushless motor, you need a servo motor. And then, for another reason, you switch to a stepper solution. And with the B&R solution, you can change the technology of the motor without changing or modifying the software. Uh, regarding uh, total cost of ownership, you also um, have uh, integrated support of PEC-ML. Um, what does that mean for the OEM? The packaging solution, what you see here, is done with PEC-ML. This is a standard from OMAC. This is an organization from end users in America who define a state machine. So that means every type of independently, what type of packaging machine, it is done with a PEC-ML solution, and we have solved this. I can demonstrate this here. What we see here, this is the state machine of OMAC. Now the machine is without any problem executing, and this is running in this case of a demo because it's demonstrating this. So that means with every type of packaging machine, the end user always has the same operator interface. And this is a standard which where the future of packaging machine goes. So that means also that the OEM can encapsulate his intellectual property uh, even better than before? That the machine builder can for sure encapsulate it completely because the interface to the operator, the PACML, only demonstrates this interface to the machine operator. And the, in that in, uh, the IP is fully done inside, behind these boxes. At this demonstration, we also see a lot of different components from a variety of vendors. How are they integrated uh, or, or communicating with each other? Uh, that's easy. They simply communicate with Ethernet PowerLink. That's an industrial Ethernet bus. And you can connect um, all devices from b and but also third-party devices, like uh, this camera, what we see here. So this camera is directly connected with Ethernet PowerLink. So there are many components on the market where you can integrate on a BNR solution, but also with other components, sensors, and actors with Ethernet PowerLink. Another thing you are demonstrating here is uh, integrated uh, safety. So uh, what concept have you realized here in this demonstrator? The integrated safety is coming more and more important for packaging machine. Why? Looking today on a, on, a, on a packaging machine, you have not only one machine, you have a complete line. And in a complete line, how is the solution done today to make the synchronization of safety? Today, it is simply done by hardwire. That's technology, that's an old technology. What we have done here is we have open safety. This is a safety protocol 
integrated in an industrial Ethernet, an Ethernet power link. And the complete machine can run safe limited speed, for example. The complete line can be synchronized. And that's a, a big step forward for end users and machine builders. So we already covered the whole hardware thing. What's about the visualization of the functionality of the machine? Yeah. What we here have, we have an integrated uh, visualization on our automation runtime, and we call it visual components. And moreover, we have visual components for Windows. That means you can do it directly under Windows. I can demonstrate you just a few highlights here. For example, we can have also videos integrated in the HMI. That helps machine builders to, to show the service, to show the maintenance, how to operate the machine. Moreover, we can demonstrate here online PDF help. All the documentation, the help is to done mainly in, in PDF files, and we can integrate this directly in the, in the HMI. We can do it also with the iPad. We can see all the robot position. We can see all the status of the machines. We can flip to the, you can also change some status of the machines or to the overview of the production cycle. So here you can see the complete uh, HMI where you can change to the state of the machine, where you see also the positioning, the speed, the production cycle and so on. With the iPad app, uh, is it possible for the service engineer also to uh, do maintenance or what is it used for? Yeah, this demonstrate you can do remote maintenance all over the world. That means wherever you are, you don't need an iPad. You can do it with an iPad, of course, but you need a simple PC, you need a web browser, and then you can control the full machine. You can make all the diagnostic of the machine wherever you are over internet, and that's very helpful Typically today you maybe have to go there, you have to take the plane. This is not needed anymore. You simply go in the internet, connect directly to the machine and make all the remote maintenance. And you can see every detail like you would be in front of the machine. And this is for the service engineer, very helpful to solve the problem of the end users. Thank you very much, Mr. Burgstaller.